Hello everyone, welcome back. Whoop, 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 whoop. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, it is another detail, super easy, quick, fast, <sighs> like a pro, name them all. <laughs> tutorial using a bandana and then i'll be giving you some details before we get right into it on how you can actually use a silk scarf like our goal of the day that is how to stand a bandana like a rookie <coughs> and i don't know what's up with my voice i don't know it doesn't want us to like interact with it on whatsapp but well it's like oh, i am losing it but anyway, I'll be fine. Can someone make that in the comment section? Anyway, please like this video as we get into it. Share it out there. Talk to me in the comment section. And if you have not yet subscribed up to this point, please just ensure that you subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, I, I, I truly appreciate you. Yeah, so let's do this. So, this style is also called babushka style. Yeah, now you got it. It's also called babushka style. And I want us to do it together. I think I'll be doing a full one on the scarf, the silk, the detailed one on skill using a silk. What's up? The detailed one using a silk scarf. And uh, right now, I want to show you how to use a bandana well, to do this. So, a particular person of the day, our goals today, and how on the one that you're folding the bandana like, when they use the, when they use the silk scarf, uh, when it comes lying down here, they normally either they push it like this and uh, like this to the other side, or they just tie a knot right here. Although this is not how it's silk, I'm just showing you this the front part on how it looks. You know, a silk scarf or the scarf is usually bigger most in most cases than a bandana, right? And so let's get back to the bandana. I hope you got that. The oh. bandana. I hope you have your bandana right there, like this one. One, it can be exactly like mine, or yellow, or black, or pink. Or red, whichever color you feel you will you will use. So with a bandana like this, let's form our usual diamond like this. And so by the way, you need a flat surface. If you cannot do it on air, you need somewhere that you can actually please it. You can even do it on the floor if the floor is clean, on the bed, on the the table, just somewhere which is flat. Or let's do this. So, uh, to make it like that, all it is in this manner, fold from this corner to that corner, fold from this corner to, from this corner to that corner. So let's do this. You take, you pick it like this to this corner like that. And so it is up to this point and also ensure that if you're using a patterned bandana do you know patterned bandana in most cases it's actually very visible when you tie it in the opposite direction that is there is this side which is the inside area and we have the outside area of the bandana and so make sure that when you're putting it to the center you're using the center part that is the inner side to bring it towards this side and not the other way that is the opposite direction because you know you see i don't know if you can see it it looks good it will not look that well when you do that it's always like wearing your clothes inside out like now this side is on the outside and then you're guessing my point so we do it right from here to there like that if you want to ensure that it's fully smooth, you can uh, use an iron box to iron it. Iron, iron. It's smoothen it here, ensuring that, well, it's the same thing. That is in Sahel language. It's the same thing as saying you iron it smoothly up to here, this area, so that it can be straight, like super straight, <laughs> but which is not a must, but. 
if you're the kind of person who loves perfection you can actually do that and now uh, when it comes to your hair how is your hair the moment shaggy if it's shaggy you have to comb that hair or you have to do something about it to ensure that it lays down because when you place the bandana we don't want it to have like bumps or some things to be like protruding like you know understand like horns on your hair and so ensure that you have held your hair well it can be slightly at the back or at the center i'll just lay it down or if you want to drop it like my uh -huh, africanicity in it if you want to drop it like my well and so just make sure that your hair is well kept placed together in a nice orderly manner even if you don't want to come with try it try it get the motivation from me i woke up to actually first comb this hair well let me just tell you about it hey i don't know why it had tangled like that but i even started looking for some water to sprinkle to see if it can actually be light a little bit so that once the comb is getting through i'll not break so much hair and the funny thing is i still broke so much hair cut so much hair using the comb but regardless at least it's laying down i think i'll be doing tutorials on hair and laying things down the struggle that is behind this hair and if you also continue please like this video i share it out leave a comment down below you know i struggled for the hair to be neat to be here <laughs> you have off story storytelling and let's get back to, to our bandana well we have it like that we have taken this corner and to this side in the right direction ensuring that it's not opposite the next thing you'll not you can actually decide for it to be equal to equal parts or if depends if you have so much hair you can just pull it up a little bit from behind this is what i'm doing i'm just pushing pushing it down like that and then from the front, if you're doing it from the front, just pull it up like that. That is the something that you'll have. And remember, this is the, on the inside part. The longer one is on the inside part. I hope you can see the difference. It is on the inside part. So this, the longer one, the one that is facing on top, it is the inside. And this one, okay, how do I explain this? This is the right side and this is the right side. They're not in any opposite <laughs> directions. So the next thing is find a mirror if you need to look yourself up. Find a mirror or it's just a reflection or you can tell someone else who is seated on the other side to just look at you and tell you. Mm -hmm, right there. But anyway, my mirror is on this side. So don't mind me if I'm looking on this side so much. So place it now on your hair having held it from the tips like this like that place it on your head from this side this is how it looks like from this other side this is how it looks like and also you don't have to actually always do it from behind oh i've realized that you see it's leaving so much hair from this back that is what i told you it depends so i think i'll be adding the length a little bit like that because we do not want so much hair being left from behind and so again we place it from behind like that and that is much 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 better you can see from this side and from this other side and actually you can also do it place it from the front from here you just place it like that here having it like this you just push it like that That's why I'm talking about a mirror like that. Remember, this is also called the babushka style. It's all. So, the next thing is tying a knot. I hope you know how to tie a knot. We have done so much on tying a knot, so you should actually check out my other videos. Whoop! Now it's time to. Tie that knot here down. And then you can do it. Depends on how you feel it. 
you can choose to do like two notes and told you when it comes to the sales cup because it's bigger that's why you do it like this like a scarf or just to let the wings wings drop oh la 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 that is how it looks please make sure that you like this video share it out leave a comment down below tell a friend to tell a friend and make sure that you check out my other clothes